Hello everyone and thanks for watching again another episode of a Gorilla Travels, the Dutch edition. Today we're visiting another famous piece of Dutch heritage, the windmills of Kinderdijk. Uh, around one million people bring a visit to Kinderdijk each year, although it's a bit hard to imagine right now because it's super quiet. And a fun fact is that uh, the windmills are inhabited by Miller families that have to keep the mills in, uh, in good shape in case they are needed to pump the water. So uh, let's go and find out a bit more about these mills. You won't find a windmill complex like Kinderdijk anywhere else in the world. The ingenious system of windmills and pumping stations has been keeping the soil dry for centuries in a constant struggle against the power of the water. A great way to get an overview of the area and the mills is by boat. The land here lies below sea level, so the Dutch needed ditches, windmills, sluices and weirs to pump the water out. The area, once a swamp, was reclaimed from the water in the 13th century so it could be used for agricultural and living purposes. The Dutch built dikes around the land to keep their feet dry, but as the ground began to settle during the centuries after that, it became harder to keep the water out. Groundwater and rainwater had to be drained from the land within the dikes and discharged into the river beyond, or the boulders would be flooded all over again. This is why in the 18th century, 19 windmills were built here to pump the excess water into designated water storage. These 19 mills stand for what has made Holland famous in water management and engineering. As you probably know, the Dutch have a pretty special relationship with water. And these 19 windmills in Kinderdijk are iconic to that relationship and the way we manage our water. Uh, and that's also the reason why since 1997 they've become uh, a part of the UNESCO World Heritage. Uh, 